So in my last video I showed you how to download Flux Dev and Flux Shell and also how to use Flux Pro for free in the browser. And since then this new Flux version called Flux NF4 has come out and this one is supposed to be like a watered down version of Flux Dev which can run on as low as 6 gigs of VRAM and it's also significantly faster compared to the regular Flux Dev version with only minor quality trade-offs. So if you have like an older GPU or a graphics card that only has 6 gigs of VRAM this is your lucky day. Stick around till the end of the video because I'll also show you how to download and use Flux NF4 locally. But before that, I thought it would be fun to see how these four different Flux models compare to each other. So I went ahead and generated five simple prompts using ChatGPT and used them to generate these images. So the first prompt is a panda eating bamboo in a serene forest. As you can see, all of these images look really well. They all are very high quality and they're not really that different from each other. Like, we can notice that Flux Dev and Flux Pro are the ones with the most detail, but if you ask me, the most realistic images came out of Flux Chanel for some reason. So next we have a golden retriever playing fetch on a sunny beach. All of these images look pretty good, but if you ask me, by far, the best looking images definitely came out of Flux Pro, which is, you know, to be expected because it's their best model. And for the worst looking image, I gonna have to give it to Flux Chanel. As you can see, these images, they look good, but the detail is not quite there and they don't really look that realistic. And for the next prompt, we have a majestic eagle soaring over a mountain range. Let me know which one you like the best. In my opinion, Flux Chanel did a pretty good job this time. I mean, these images look, at least in my opinion, the most realistic ones. But let me know what you think about it. Next we got a young woman reading a book in a cozy coffee shop. Now, for some reason, Flux Pro was really struggling with this prompt and I think the reason for that is the use of the keyword young because for some reason uh, it appears that it doesn't like when you use uh, words such as young or child or anything like that in your prompt and as a result you can see that instead of generating an image of a young woman like we asked it to do it generated an image of an old woman for some reason. But aside from that, the rest of the images look pretty good. As you can see, Flux Dev and NF4 did a really good job following the prompt. And when it comes to Flux Chanel, I believe the quality is a little bit lower, but it still looks pretty good. Moving on to our next prompt, a child blowing bubbles in a colorful meadow. And as you can already guess, Flux Pro messed up again. Instead of generating images of, you know, a child blowing bubbles, it generated images of old men blowing bubbles for some reason. This probably has something to do with the fact that the website seems to have some sort of censorship, probably to prevent certain people from generating certain illegal images. But once again, as you can see, the quality of it, all these images is outstanding. All of these images are very high detail and very realistic and definitely quite usable. So the next thing we're gonna try out is to compare the generation speed. As a reference, I have an RTX 4060 Ti with 16 gigs of VRAM and I usually get about 86 seconds of image generation when I use the regular Flux Dev model. So let's see how this compares to the newer NF4 version. Because once again, this is a smaller version of Flux Dev so it is supposed to run very fast compared to the regular version and it can also run on, again, as, as little as 6 gigs of VRAM. As you can see, I'm already in ComfyUI with the Flux Dev model loaded and we're gonna see how quickly it can generate this image. So for the prompt, we are gonna use a cinematic shot of a goat on a beach chasing people around, kind of like a reference to Goat Simulator. I left everything else by default. We have a resolution of 1024 by 1024 and 20 steps for generation. 
As you can see, the regular Flux dev version uses a lot of RAM, about 20 gigs of RAM, and it took about 86 seconds to generate the image. And for some reason, the output image seems to be a little bit blurry, but this tends to happen sometimes. So I changed the prompt a little bit, and this seems to fix the issue. And this image took about 85.76 seconds to generate. So a little bit faster than the previous try. So now we got Flux NF4 loaded with the exact same settings and exact same prompt. This model loads a lot faster into the RAM compared to the regular Flux dev version. And over here you can see that it uses a lot less RAM. You can see that it only uses 6.2 gigs of RAM compared to the 20 gigs of RAM that the regular Flux dev model used. So this is the output image, you can see it looks pretty good, pretty similar to the previous image, at least in terms of quality, and it only took about 54.64 seconds to generate, which is more or less 30 seconds less compared to the regular version. So the biggest advantage when using Flux NF4 is not necessarily the time and how quickly it generates the images, but also how light it is. I mean, it is a very light model compared to the Flux dev version. As you can see, it uses a lot less RAM and it can run on as low as 60 gigs of VRAM compared to the regular uh, Flux dev version, which requires at least 12 gigabytes of VRAM and 32 gigs of RAM to run. So next up, we're gonna compare it to the Flux Schnell model, which is definitely the fastest model because it all requires four steps in order to generate the image. Again, using the exact same prompt, exact same resolution, It generated an image in about 23.9 seconds, which is significantly faster compared to the, both NF4 and the Flux Dev version. And as you can see, the resulting image is really not bad. I think that out of the three images I generated, this is my favorite one, because it looks the most realistic and it has the best contrast for some reason. So all of these three models are very similar in nature. The only thing that differs to them is the resources they take up and how quickly they can generate the images. But more often than not, you can notice that the output images are actually very similar. So it's up to you which model you prefer to use. So now I'm gonna show you how to download the new Flux NF4 model. If you have already downloaded the Comf UI and the regular Flux dev model, then you don't need to do that anymore. But if you haven't done that already, go ahead and check out my previous video where I showed you how to do all that. So now go to the first link in the description. This will bring you to this Hugging Face website. And over here you can see Flux 1 dev BNB NF4 v2 version. Click here to download. Just go to your Comf UI folder. Go to Models, into Checkpoints, and just click Save. I'm not gonna do that because I have already downloaded it. So the next thing you need to do is go into your Comf UI folder and search for the Custom Notes folder. Click here and just type CMD. This will open a command prompt in this directory. And the next thing you need to do is just copy this git command from the description and just paste it here and click Enter. This will install a couple of things and after the installation is finished, you should be left with these folders. Go into this bits and the bytes and a four folder. Click here, type CMD again, and you should copy and paste this command. Pip install our requirements.txt and just hit enter again. The next thing you need to do is go into your Comf UI folder and then back to custom nodes, Comf UI manager, and over here you should see a file called config, double click on that. And you see over here this security level, make sure it's set to weak. Just click save and you can exit. The last thing you want to do is go into ComfyUI, go to the manager section, and over here you can see channel, all you have to do is switch this to dev and click update all. Last but not least, if you go to the website I linked in the description, all you have to do is scroll over here and just drag this photo into your Comf UI, and this will upload a workflow. And now you can generate images using Flux NF4. And if you have any errors or, uh, you know, red blocks over here, 
All you have to do is go to the manager and hit install cust missing custom nodes. And that was it. I hope you found this video helpful and I would also love to know what you think about this new Flux NF4 model. 